What's good, girl 413 here back in the day, and today, guys, we are here for part number 7 of our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play, and today, guys, we are going to be picking up our brand new house, Lugar Tranquilo. We have got, honestly, a lot of interesting things for us to go ahead and do today, so let's go ahead and pick up this house real quickly and see what all we can grab. It's pequeño, but it's right in the heart of one of the most beautiful villages in Mexico, right by the east coast, too. You're gonna love it. So we are on the east coast, which means that we're near the we're in the Gulf. And that means that this house is on the Gulf, which is pretty damn nice. And it's got a nice piece of art. It's originally 700k, but we're getting it for free as a part of our welcome pack. So we have got take a picture and unlocks Horizon promo, and we get ourselves a Bien, super wheel spin. Not bad at all. You'll want to get a broom for all that sand. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a lot of sand. I bet it's gonna be a lot of sand. So, still have yet to find the house. Uh, I don't want to set this as my main house. But we've also got two barn finds since we're here to go ahead and collect. So let's go ahead and collect our first one, which is the Jaguar Sport XJR15. All carbon fiber, six liter V12, 450 horsepower. It should have been on the track at Le Mans, not in the middle of the Mexican jungle. Very, very true. It should have been a Le Mans, uh, but also at the same time, like, I think I was doing some research on this car, and overall, it's really not all that fast. It was the first car to be made entirely out of carbon fiber, but really, I believe it only has, like, 450 horsepower. Like, it's not very quick. I mean, for how light it is, I mean, it does have a lot of speed, but from the size of the engine that it has, uh, it, it today's standards, it just would not cut it. It would not cut it. Uh, I mean, something like this would have to easily have a thousand horsepower in order to be considered, you know, a good car today. But now, we also have our 1970 GMC Jimmy, which, thank God, another GM vehicle. <laughs> Sorry, I had a burp. God damn. I told Alex he was a Jimmy. He said, you mean a blazer? I think he might the Oscar would get along. So, yes, Chevy Blazer, GMC Jimmy, they are basically the same car. The GM is a little bit more uh, beefy, I think, as well. It's also a little bit more for the luxury buyer. So, this one would have come with something like AC or power windows back in the day. And that would have been considered some luxuries. But, god damn, it looks good. It looks so good. I love these things. They are absolutely amazing. I like how the stock tires, too, are already off roady Like... You know, those definitely were not the stock tires on this car when it came out. Man, I'm yawning a lot. Like, I feel the need to yawn. I am I am exhausted today. I really and truly am. But, as well, we've got a few other things to go ahead and talk about. Because, uh, we got our first uh, gift car, which is kind of weird. So, as you guys may be aware, there is this whole deal where some people can, like, send out gift cars and all that. I got a Jeep. I got a Willy's Jeep. That's all I was able to get. But, hey... Thank you to the guy who actually sent this to me. I wonder, can I actually see... Yeah, we can see the original owner of this. Uh, it should be farther down here. The original owner is unknown. <laughs> I think it's because the it said like someone with like a very long Japanese or Chinese name sent this. I don't know what, uh, what language it was. It could be Korean, Vietnamese. It, it was some form of... I, I don't know how you would necessarily call that. I don't want to be, like, insensitive. Like, maybe... Is it a hieroglyphic? I know that's, like... like um, I, I don't know exactly what they're called, per se. A script? It, it was in some kind of Asian script. So, I have no idea, though. But anyway, though, like I was also saying, we got ourselves a super wheel spin, some regular-ass wheel spins. So, we're going to see what all we can get from those. And then we're going to go hunting for barn finds. So, let's go ahead and do some spins really quickly. We've also have been getting some progress. We have four Horizon Adventures already up on deck for us. So the next few episodes are going to be very, very exciting. Maybe not a lot of racing, but a lot of excitement. So let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? We got spins. Should we start off with the Super Wheel Spin? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's start with the Super Wheel Spin. See what we can go ahead and pick up. Are we going to get some good? There's a lot of gold in that last row. So we got a TBR Griffith and 330,000 credits. That's that's not too bad. Not too bad. I, we could have done better. Could have done better. But that's not that's not the worst thing ever. That takes us up to almost a mil. We have spent a shit ton of money, by the way. Uh, we got we got some new cars. I, maybe I should show you guys all the all the new cars that we got. Um, 
because we're up to 69 now. We won an Alpine. Uh, we won an Audi R7 Sportback. We have won a Corvette ZR1. That was actually an accolade reward. We got a uh, Charger RT because you use this to actually unlock a the Dodge Hemi Super Sport. Uh, we got... What else did we get? GT70. I think you guys saw the GT70. We got a Rao Wel Welt Brogriff. Ah, we got the Hoonigan Porsche. We got the Hoonigan Porsche. That's all you really need to know right there. Um, we got a Diablo SV because this unlocks the Diablo GTR. We also picked up an Exige. A couple Mazdas because I was checking to see if either of these actually unlock the, uh, the Hoonigan RX-7, the Twerk Stallion. They do not. It is actually the Savannah RX-7, which is very hard to find. I might make a video on that here in a little bit. Uh, we picked up the E63S, which is an exclusive car from this week's Forzathon Challenge. Uh, GTO. Uh, really disappointed because the Fairlady Z and the Sylvia Case Arrow do not have Rocket Bunny kits. So I'm very, very disappointed with that. Um, you guys saw in the last episode, we got the, uh, the y -Rus. We got an extra Porsche taken, so we got a regular taken and the Welcome Pack taken. Uh, we got a Macan Rally Raid. We, we got a bunch of cars, and we just got that TVR Griffith, as you saw. So right there, we got ourselves quite a few new cars. Let's go into our wheel spin, see what we can get. How many do we have? 14 wheel spins to do. This is, this is basically going to be today's episode. We're going to have a bunch of fucking wheel spins. <laughs> that's what we got going on. We got a 1969 Chevy Nova. That's not too bad. There is some gold. It's a it's an emote, though. I'm not super thrilled about that. We got 50 grand. So that takes us up over a million credits now. What are we going to get here? We got the Shimon emote, which honestly, that's one of my favorite emotes. So I'm actually kind of glad we got that. We're probably going to go ahead and... <gasps> No! Oh, God. You guys would have been like... Oh, God. I wanted the Windows XP shutdown horn. We get a Selene S7, which that's like a million dollar car right there. Why am I saying no to it? Like, we got ourselves a great car, but I wanted that Windows XP shutdown. I really and truly did. Oh, is that a million credits going through there? No, 250. We got 125,000. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. What else can we get here? Big money, no whammy. Can we get something good? Another 125. So we're just bringing in some money now. That's what we're doing. We're bringing in some money. We got another 250 in there. Oh, so close. We almost had some Forza Edition glory with that Chevrolet Corvette. Instead, we pick up a Fiesta XR2. Can we get something good on this set of spins? I mean, the Selena 7 wasn't bad. Again, we almost had Forza Edition glory. We got 30,000. God damn. God damn, okay. Come on. Come on. What can we get? Panamera, ugliest ugliest Porsche ever made. All right, big money no whammy. I, I'm seeing 175 and 200. Ooh, we got ourselves a Gladiator. That's not too bad. You can take the doors off on those. You can take the doors off on those. I should actually have open my, uh, the exclusive car list. There's like a big exclusive, uh, wheel spin car list for uh, Forza Horizon 5. I should keep this open right now because there, there's, there's some good ones on there. There are some good ones on there. Uh, let's see here. We're going to open it up right here. What do we got? What do we got? Is the Jeep on there? The Jeep is not on there. So there are no Jeeps. Uh, that Fiesta XR2 though is a wheel spin exclusive. So that's actually really damn good. That's really good. Also, the Ape Alpine A110 is a wheel spin exclusive. So we've got ourselves a couple wheel spin exclusives so far, so that's not bad at all. There, there are like fucking 50 of them. And we got some orange canvas shoes. Like, that. that's not great. Uh, ooh, how much money is that? Is that a lot? Hyperdrive disengaged. Ugh. You know what horn we want? There's only one horn that we want. Well, I want Grunt Birthday Party too. 250k that's not too bad can we end it on a good note we got one last spin savannah rx7 would be fucking fantastic but we walk away with 200,000, which is not too bad again there's that alpine a110 that is a wheel spin exclusive what about that porsche i am curious so the porsche macon rally raid is considered a wheel spin exclusive so that's not too bad that's not too bad all right anyway 
collect our prize. We're up to 1.8 million credits, which is not bad at all. But the next thing that we're going to do, all right, the next thing that we're going to do is we've also got two, three, four. We got four barn finds to go search for. So we're going to kind of go in order. I mean, they're kind of all in a nice line for us. But we've got ourselves a very nice uh, Ford Racing Puma Forza Edition here. And this thing is pretty damn quick. So we should be able to use this to go and hunt for our barn finds. Let's go ahead and get out of town a little bit here. Although, we do got a road here. Let's go ahead and just discover this road on the way out. Oh, it's not. It's a long road. Fuck. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're not going to discover that whole road. I was thinking we could do that. Although, it does drive right to our area. So, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. So let's come over here. It looks like we're breaking the turn. Let's turn on in here. We're not into the area yet. And knowing our luck, this barn is going to be in the middle of the dense jungle. There is a nice open field though. I could see it actually being back here in this tree line. We're just gonna kind of drive up near it. I'm not seeing a barn anywhere in there. So I don't think it's going to be there. Oh, is that it right there? I think we got it, boys. We got ourselves another barn. found one of these things in Texas a few years back, but I had no idea there was another. That is a 250 GTO. We've hit the jackpot. Wait till you see this thing return to us. So there you go. That's where the Ferrari 250 GTO is. It's over here on the East Coast. Not too bad at all former glory i'll call you all right so that one was a very very quick barn find we got another one down over here down over yonder let's go let's go find this send and receive a gift barn find can we okay so we're right here if we do this okay so no we can only send a gift right now we can only send a gift at the moment is it the more barn finds we have, the more likely that we'll get gifts if they're actually being sent out? Because I did receive my first gift today. Again, like I was saying at the beginning of this video, we got ourselves a, uh, a Willy's Jeep. Which is not too bad. Also, apparently there is a bonus board right here. How the fuck do you get that shit? Okay, I see exactly how we get it. Let's, let's, let's try and nail this bonus board really quickly. How the hell? Okay. I don't think actually we can get it. I don't think there's a big enough jump here. We're gonna try. If we come close with this S-Class car, then I'll say it, it's probably how you do it. Yeah, we're not even gonna come close. This is not a this is not a jump. Maybe it's a part of Horizon Rush we'll be able to get access to it. Or is there another jump like over here? Oh yeah, there's another jump right here. There's got to be a jump somewhere to get it. And maybe I just haven't unlocked the jump yet. Or maybe it'll be right there. I feel dumb. There is a uh, danger sign right here that is probably used to get this bonus board. Fuck! We just barely missed it! We just barely overshot it! Oh, this is, this is tough. I mean, it's just gonna take a lot of rewinding to get this thing. Okay, yeah. Turn around when it is safe. Oh, that's perfect! Got it! Ha! Got him! So we just got one star in that danger sign. I mean, we could easily get 
much, much higher score. But we ain't doing that right now. We just wanted to get ourselves the bonus board. That's all we needed to get. I feel so stupid for the fact that we did not see the freaking um, the freaking jump to get it. Ugh, I feel so dumb. Driving through Agave. Driving through Agave. Look at all the tequila I'm gonna drink. <laughs> That's what that is, people. That's what it is. Oh shit, we're in the area. Okay, um. I think I literally see it right here. Yep. Got ourselves our bar and find. It is right here. Easy to find. Bien. Be there soon. Definitely a classic camioneta. Ford F-100. Let's take you back. I haven't worked on one of these since I was 10. I'll call you when it's done. So there we go. We got ourselves the Ford F-100 located right here. It's just a little bit north of this, uh, the apex of this danger sign. You basically drive out and it's right there. No problem whatsoever getting there. All right, so we got this next one over here. I'm almost wondering if we want to go ahead and hit this, uh, hit this sign down here. Brutus, what you doing? No digging on the rug. He's digging on my rug, people. Dog's digging. 2.4 miles to get over to this next location, but we got ourselves a nice rally car. It's already dropped down to two. I mean, we're going off road on this for the most part. We're in the farm country. We're in agave country. Hmm. If I ever go to Mexico, that's where I need to go. Is I need to go to agave country, you know, see if they like do tequila taste testing or something like that. Tequila, tequila! That's what I need. That's what I need is some like tequila taste testing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, half a mile, 800 yards, there's our board. Alright, so that's going to make things a little bit cheaper on us. But now we had to need to head north and come over here and grab ourselves this barn find, which is located on the side of a mountain. Hmm. Those of you guys who aren't aware, yeah, no, this is a this is a big drift hill that goes up to the volcano. Well, let's get an XP sign right here. We're gonna try and nab it. Where are you at? Ah, it's right there. I think that little stick would be destructible. I know it's like actually holding up the house, but do you, you think they might make it destructible, right? You think? You think? I wonder what this is. I wonder if that's con is this mice? Is that what that is? Is that maze? Hmm. It's either that or maybe it's corn. Oh. I saw the girlfriend come out and uh, I was like, "What you doing?" All of a sudden, my dog disappeared, and I'm like, "Where the hell did the dog go?" All right, so we're in the area now. We are in the area now. You have arrived at your destination. Anywhere you'd expect them to put a house on flat land, right? So I suspect it might be down over here, like in these trees. Oh, where, where is this barn? Oh, where, where could it be? Fuck, we just hit a pine tree. I don't know, that's actually a hardwood tree. Oh, come on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh shit, here it is! We found it! 
There's another guy here, too. Uy, looks to be in muy mala condición. You think I can get it working? <laughs> that was a trick question. I can get anything working. I can't wait to take these down to the garage. I'll call you when I'm done. So there we go. We got ourselves a Porsche 911 Carrera RS located right here. I was actually surprised that it's up here and not farther down where, you know, this is the flat ground and right here we're up on the hill. So that was kind of interesting. But we got one more barn find to go ahead and locate for today. Where are we going? We're going to the north. We're going up north a little ways. So... It's going to cut across a few places. I see there's an old little beaten path here, so somebody would have followed this old path out. Let's see here. So now we're on a drain. Yeah, so the path just kind of disappears, so you got to kind of know where it is already. There's an old path that leads to that barn, but it just kind of fizzles out. God, look at these mountains though, like, driving on them is, it, it's an experience for sure. Like, these are, these are mountains, like, we have that one big hill in, uh, in the UK in Horizon 4, like, this though, god damn, we have got some freaking huge hills to climb, which is nice. I really, I really like the, uh, like, the depth that is in this game. I really, really do. Alright, here we go. And, like, the fact that it's also open world, because, I mean, of course we had a big mountain that we could climb in, um, in Horizon 1, but not, a, not as a nice mountain. I mean, it was all open road. God damn it, did we already find it? I think this is it right here. Oh, no. It's not it. It's just somebody's house. We're gonna mess up your wedding. Ha! Screw your weddings. I actually did have, um, when I lived in Arkansas, I had some Mexican neighbors they had a wedding in their backyard. Uh, they have been raising a goat. <laughs> that goat did not last through the wedding. Um, they, they, they straight up, like, took a gun, shot it in the head, and they roasted it on a spit. Honestly? Yeah, I bet it was good. I bet it was good. I mean, they grew it, them, they raised it themselves and all that. So, kind of dope. But, uh... Never saw that goat again. Is that the barn? That looks like a house, not a barn. We do got a little farm area over here. Is this going to be the barn? This very well could be it. I think this is it, boys. No. No, this is not the barn. This is just another house. I thought, I thought this house was a barn. Oh, gosh. There's a lot of structures over here, so this one might be a little tricky. We might keep getting confused about different structures that we see. A lot of times, though, when you got the structures, the barn finds are up in the woods. Like, you're going to find them next to any other structures. I ain't seen anything over there. Oh fuck, there it is. We got it. So it was next to a structure. Ah, see. Sí. BMW. Too old to be made in Mexico, though. We should take it to the taller so I can get a better look. All right, so there we go. We just picked up a BMW 2002 Turbo, located actually fairly right off the road. 
I mean, it's not that far away from our Fuerto El Camino race. Uh, so that's, uh, yeah, that, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, actually, I forgot about this. You guys may have missed this because we did it during a live stream, but we also activated the Horizon Rush Outpost. So the reason why we had to activate this is because this week's Forzathon challenge required us to actually uh, do some drift zones. So you had to get nine stars in drift zones in a 350Z, which is also how I happened to discover that... Um, <laughs> Oh, God, that the freaking 350Z does not have, that it does not have, uh, oh, wait, is it showing that we completed it now? Is it? Hold on a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my festival playlist here. Is it showing completed? It is not showing completed, or is it? No? Yes? Yeah, no, it's not showing completed, but it's showing completed on the map. That's interesting. That is interesting. It's showing that we got three stars. It's showing our personal best, and it's saying that we got our reward for our wheel spin. Hmm. Ranchita Novus, recommended accolade, living in the fast lane, earn one star at all speed zones. Okay. So, I, I have no idea if that's actually what happened or not, but uh, right now... Alright, 31 minutes. I think that's where we're going to go and call things a day for today. We, we've had a lot of fun and excitement. In the next episode, we're going to get back into the racing. It's all been about wheel spins and houses and all that sort of good stuff today. So if you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413 And if you guys like this video, go make sure that that like button down below for us because you already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure that subscribe more videos come out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye!